This Week in Louisiana Agriculture. Another case of farmers helping farmers, this time up in DeSoto Parish, where the DeSoto Parish Farm Bureau is donating fresh hay to drought-stricken farmers in the Conway, Arkansas area. I'm A.J. Sabine in Tangipahoa Parish, and I'll show you how these fresh farm-raised ducks have joined a new food movement. I'm Kristen Oaks in Thibodeau, where one local business is turning these crops into your favorite cocktail. I'll have that story coming up. Hello everyone, I'm Michael Dana. Thanks so much for joining us on this week's program. Regular rains and good growing conditions have helped Louisiana farmers and ranchers produce an above average hay crop. That wasn't the case last year when much of northwest Louisiana was in a severe drought. This year, the drought hit neighboring Arkansas particularly hard, leaving many cattle producers there without enough hay to feed their animals through the winter. But as this week in Louisiana Agricultural Special Correspondent Bill Sherman shows us, farmers from north Louisiana decided to give back to those who helped them last year. How does the old saying go, make hay while the sun shines? or in this case, load the hay while the sun shines. Dozens of hay bales were recently loaded onto two flatbed 18-wheelers that were driven down to the Gloucester community here just south of Shreveport. The trucks and their drivers are from the hard-hit Conway, Arkansas area. There's just absolutely nothing to feed in that area. Matt Simon, a dairy farmer, has driven down to pick up these bales, not for his farm, but his neighbors. You see, Simon's neighbor raises beef cattle and, like many farmers in central Arkansas, has very little hay for the winter. But there's even a more pressing issue for Simon's neighbor, a 20-year-old son that was recently diagnosed with cancer and had to be rushed to the MD Anderson Hospital in Houston. In our area, everybody's short on hay. We all think we need it, but something like this is offered and everybody turns it down. Said, so, you know, so no, I, I'm not gonna take a hand out like that. So it's not for me but we found a neighbor that, that did need it. So we're gonna make it happen for him. That bale looks like it's a little more than five foot. Most of these bales are from the pastures of cattleman Hall Burford, but altogether about a dozen or so farmers from the DeSoto Parish Farm Bureau have chipped in to help out. He's got a, a plate full of trouble to, uh, to deal with. And so if this can help out, well, we know what it meant to us last year when we even found hay to purchase. It was just glad to find anything. So we, we trust that this will meet a special need. The last two years we've had such drought here. So, you know, if they're having drought up there and we had a good year, why? It, it's only the right thing to do. These first 63 bales may be enough, but if the call goes out for more, these farmers will be there to help out. No questions asked. <laughs> Reporting from DeSoto Parish, I'm Bill Sherman for this week in Louisiana Agriculture. The Faulkner County Farm Bureau office in Conway, Arkansas put out the call for hay several weeks ago. The DeSoto Parish Farm Bureau answered the call with that hay donation. The drivers made the 250 mile trek safely back to Conway that evening, much to the surprise of the rancher Melvin Ivey and his family. Ivy, who was at the MD Anderson Medical Center with his son, had just returned home to pick up a few personal items. He said he was surprised and thankful seeing his fellow Faulkner County Farm Bureau friends driving up with all those bales of hay. <laughs> 